All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to fire a projectile. So in this example here, I have my little player, and I can fire a projectile using the space bar, and it collides with an object, the projectile will disappear, and has a certain amount of lifespan. And if you increase the lifespan, it will stay on the screen longer, and if you decrease the lifespan, it will stay on the screen for less time. I only have a set amount of ammunition here. So let's see the code and see how this works. Okay, in the global variables, I've, I've set the number of spears I have is five, and I've declared my shots sprite group. Every shot that I take will belong to this shots sprite group. And I've set a, a ver global variable of spear life just for the slider. Spear life is just there to show you, you can adjust how long the projectile can be on the screen. In my setup function, I just made the slider. In the setup function, I created my wall sprites and my player sprite. I also created a shot sprite. So I declared my shots sprite group, shots equals new group. And then I created a sprite, which is shot at minus 50, minus 50. It's off the screen, and then I removed it. Now, why would I do that? I don't need a shot sprite until the player presses the space bar, right? Until the player says, I need to shoot a projectile. If I don't declare one of these sprites in the beginning, and I run this, you see I get an error. It'll say undefined, undefined, and it's not in the sketch file. The error is not in the sketch file. It's in this line number in P5 play. P5 play is expecting a sprite to be declared before player shoots, it seems. Even though, like I have shot equals create sprite when the player presses the space bar. So I'm not sure what the issue is here. If I make a sprite and just remove it, it gets rid of that error. So that's why I have these commands in here. In my key release function, so this function runs every time a key is released. So if you hold it down and then release it, the key released will trigger. My key released function is my shooting function. So first I'm just using an if then statement to see if I have any ammunition. If I don't have any ammunition, I'm not gonna fire. I just return it without uh, any commands. If I do have ammunition, then I'm checking what key was released. If key code equals 32, so that's the space bar. So if the space bar was released, then we're going to shoot a projectile. So I'm decreasing my ammunition by one, and I'm, then I'm creating a shot sprite at the player X position and the player Y position. And I'm using a little offset here called X off and Y off. If you look at the way the player shoots, it doesn't shoot from the middle of the player. It shoots from the hand, right? And that's the way I wanted it. I didn't want a projectile coming from the middle. If you want from the middle, then you don't need the X off and Y off. You can just use the player X position and white position. And then I just adding the image of the projectile to the sprite that I loaded in the preload section. And then I'm setting sh shot life to spear life. And that is the number of draw cycles. And you can adjust it to whatever you want. If you want a harder game where the weapon doesn't travel that far, you could use a shorter lifespan. Then I'm setting the shot rotation to the player rotation, right? Because in my game, I have four different directions. And if you look at my sprite, I have to rotate the shot sprite to match the direction the player sprite is pointing. So whatever direction the player sprite is pointing, the shot sprite will be pointing that same direction. Then I'm setting my shot speed. So shot speed accepts two arguments. The magnitude, how fast it's going, so I set it to four, and an angle. The angle I'm using is the player sprite rotation. So if the player is pointing to zero degrees, then that's the angle. If the, the player sprite is pointing to 90 degrees, then that's the angle. And then I'm adding the shot to the shots group. So why am I adding a shot to the sprite group? Like if the player died, I would just want to remove all the shot sprites at once instead of one at a time because I can just remove that group from the canvas and all the sprites will disappear at the same time. So how do I end the sprite? How do I end the projectile? So let's look at the draw function. Draw function, I am checking for collisions. So in the check for collisions function, it says when the walls overlap with the shot sprite, so when the shot sprite overlaps with the wall sprite, it's going to run the function end shot. And the function end shot removes that sprite from the canvas. That's how I remove the projectile if it's hit an obstacle on the canvas. And that's how you can fire a projectile in P5 Play, P5JS.